How's it going guys and welcome to this video. In this video, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be looking at my bike packing setup and luggage setup for you. Um, I'm not going to go into what's in the actual bags today. Today I just want to show you what I've changed on the bike. I want to show you what luggage I've decided to go for. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to cover any of the camping gear that I already have. I already have the entire set of equipment that I need for bike packing now. Um, but today is just about the bags and the bike. And I really have ended out by my absolute dream setup. I've not skimped at all. Um, the bike that I bought initially, the Bomb Track Beyond Plus One 2019 model, I probably would have thought about buying the Trek 1120 at the time, but that was my budget and I'm totally happy with the bike that I've got. But in terms of everything else that's on this bike up until now, and there'll probably be a few more little upgrades here and there, but in terms of the stuff that I've bought up until now, there's absolutely you know not a single item that I've sort of made any kind of any kind of compromises on whatsoever so this is my absolute dream setup so let's have a quick look around the bike okay so there she is an absolute thing of beauty that's it completely loaded with all of the bags that i currently own um there's not really going to be any more than that what i've essentially done is bought enough luggage you know for any kind of trip this isn't far off being you know enough by the time you could perhaps strap a few extra bits to it this isn't far off being a almost continuous bike packing rig you know like an around the world or yeah just non-stop trip um there's a big frame bag a big saddle bag a big roll bag on the front accessory bags um you know fork stanch stanchion bags it's got absolutely everything a fuel bag a second fuel bag it really is like uh, you know the the full setup uh, with the intention of of not having to ever have to add any bags to my bike packing setup but if anything perhaps removing one or two for when i go on slightly you know slightly shorter trips and i don't need to carry all of that stuff um so first of all let's look at what i've changed about the bike the the main upgrade that you can't see which you should do on every bike really is that i've converted those tires to tubeless the wheels were tubeless ready you know everything was all ready to to rock and roll i just had to buy a couple of valves and, and put some sealant in there and pump them up so that's been done they're now completely tubeless pedals that i went for were it's a set of flats i, I like flats i don't like clipless pedals and that's something that's never going to change about me so i've gone for a set of dmr volts v12 so that's about it dmr v12 pedals the final change to the bike itself is the bar. Um, this is actually this bar and this bag, the bag I'll come to when I go through the luggage in a minute. But that bar and that bag are the only used items I've bought um, on the whole bike packing setup, actually. Um, I think these Jones, what I've been lucky enough to do is find on eBay UK a set of 710 millimeter wide Jones H bars, the flat kind, they haven't got that big rise on them. Um, and they're in the custom butted, um, they're the custom butted one, which means that they weigh like 200, mil um, 200 grams less than the normal 710 millimeter wide bars. So I've got a real good deal on these. I think I paid like 130 quid and they should be 300 and something, I think, for the custom butted version. Um, on, this bars, on these bars, I've put a set of ESI extra long, extra chunky grips. Um, they're the XXLs, not extra longs. Um, I've had to cut them down slightly. That's at, that end is actually cut off and sanded back. Um, I've had to do that on both sides. Um, so yeah, they're, they're the grips I've gone for, the, the ESI Extra Chunkies. And then this bar tape I've put on and it's called, I've just done it to cover the whole of that kind of loop part of the bar, if you like. Um, and that's also ESI RCT silicone wrap bar tape. So, and yeah, that's just to protect it really. So as I can use these as hand, you know, hand points, I can put my hands um, when I'm climbing and or when I'm descending as well, I can rest them on there quite nicely and comfortably. Don't really have access to this bit here, but if I decide to not run that Jones bag, obviously I can use that as a as another hand point. Um, it was for that, obviously, so as I could use it as a, you know, to, to, to grip on in, in various places, but also just to protect the bar 
from all of these various different straps from my different bags. Um, what I will cover now is these is the phone holder and the Garmin. The Garmin 1000 is what I've always had and it's on the Garmin um, mount that came with it so there's no change there. And this phone holder is it's got the screw, it's the screw type, so you pull this screw in tight. I've got my work phone in there just so as you can see it, but you pull this screw in tight and it essentially just clamps the phone in there like that. Um, I'll put links to the in the description to stuff like that, probably all of this stuff. But that there is it is called an Enonio, that's probably how you pronounce it. E-N-O-N-E-O mobile phone holder and you get it on amazon for like 17 euros i paid so that's a it's turned out to be good actually i've ridden on gravel with this quite fast downhill with that phone in there and it's been absolutely fine um and that is all that i've done to the bike mechanically and up, upgrades wise um yeah so that's it for that part of it now let's move on to the bags so if we start at the back and work our way forwards that there is the Revelate Designs, and you'll see that this, it becomes a trend as we work through. Revelate Designs, Revelate Designs, Revelate Designs, same there. Every bag on this bike is Revelate Designs, apart from this Jones bag, um, specifically for those bars. So starting at the back, we've got the Jones, uh, Jones, sorry, no, the Revelate Design Terrapin system. So this bag basically comes out of there all together so you can load and unload this dry sack um, with it out of the actual harness itself and I've gone for the 14 litre I think you can get an 8 litre and a 14 litre as with all of the bags on this I've gone for the biggest you can get because it's a big bike because I'm a big person so um, yeah I'm not too fussed about weight I am mindful about weight trying to stay sort of 10 kilos and below on on the luggage side of things um, but I've gone for the bigger bags to give me more options. So yeah, that's my saddlebag, the um, 14 litre Revelate Designs Terrapin system. And it's fantastic. The quality, I've, I've not used it obviously loads yet. I've, I've had it on the bike for multiple rides now for training just to carry some weight. Um, and it's just a fantastic bag. Why I went for Revelate, um, you know, is because of their reputation and because of how good the bags are, because of how good the reviews are. So that's why I went for these bags. And obviously, like I say, the extra time of not being able to bike pack in, in these kind of unfortunate circumstances, circumstances, this extra time that it's brought me to, to, to really spend out on these bags has allowed me to buy Revelate Design stuff. Onto the frame bag, again, Revelate Designs. That there is the extra large Ranger bag. Again, really super quality. The zip and everything is just mega, you know, real chunky. Everything's really solid. Loads of room in there. Um, yeah, Revelate Designs um, Ranger bag that comes in at 10 liters. Um, if you look down the frame, you can see how wide it is. It pulls off at the front there. It's, it sort of sticks out a couple of inches proud, maybe a little bit less on either side. A really, really good size bag that um, and, and adds another obviously 10 litres to, to what I can carry. Um, onto, the, onto the sort of fuel bag, the top tube bag. That there is the Revelate Designs gas tank. It's just the zip version, not the fold over version that you can get. Um, you know, you can get those other ones where you just, where there's like a tab to open the top and it's like a roll. Um, I've gone for this one just because, yeah, that, that was my preference again. Um, Revelate design, super quality, awesome piece of kit, and that's 1.3 liters. Back into the cockpit again, and the only bag that's not um, Revelate Designs, although Revelate Designs did make Jones bags, and maybe this is the one, the liner of it is very similar. Um, I picked up this bag used um, with the handlebars because there's this, this specific type, not Jones specific ones, but this specific bag is actually quite hard to find now, and I really wanted it because it matches, you know, the camo on the, on that bag there um so yeah i got that at, at quite a good deal with the bars and that adds i think probably about a liter maybe a little bit more to to the whole sort of arrangement you know room for more food because i'll be because i'll be doing videos and stuff it'll be a great place for my gopro things like that so yeah that's another really useful bag and then around to the front of the bike this here is the revelate design sweet roll Again, I've gone for the large version. It's, it's nowhere near loaded to capacity at the moment. 
I mean the weight difference between the mediums and stuff like that it's pretty negligible really it's just extra material um, going outwards didn't really bother me so I thought I would go for the large one just to give me that availability I can always pack that a bit bigger and sort of leave the fork bags behind if I want to on certain trips so that handlebar bag comes in at a massive 18 litres worth of storage which is humongous and again yeah same about the quality all the mounting is great I've, I've got it mounted here on four points at the minute so the thing is absolutely solid um there's very little in there at the moment in terms of weight but yeah it's, it's a really good quality bag and then forward to the accessory pocket where i'll probably keep food or camera stuff um that there is again the revelate designs and this is the egress yeah just the egress sorry yeah that comes in at 2.8 litres. It's got a nice liner inside it as well. So I won't go into it too much at the moment. I'll do bags, bag reviews on everything when I come down to it. But it's got a great liner inside there. So it's all nice and padded for like putting cameras and stuff in there. Um, and, and again, yeah, it gives you like another nice sort of 2.8 litres of storage, which is perfect. And then down finally onto the fork bags that one there is not very loaded up as you look at it they're 3.5 liters each um again they're revelate designs these are called the polecat yeah like i say 3.5 liter each they've got these loops on there so as you can run your your straps through them so as they really really can't rattle off really really nice quality same as everything else roll down and sort of fasten together at the top to make them watertight and they are mounted on two at the front of those cages that you can see there and then that cage underneath there that's got a nalgene a one litre nalgene bottle in it and then that one there's a different one again that's the that's the lasagna i'll come back to that in a minute but yeah those three sort of i guess you would call them anything rack type things are by blackburn by blackburn they're the blackburn outposts so i'll put a link to those in the description so i've got three of those really really not expensive by comparison to a lot of them and still relatively light so i've been really happy with those um yeah they've only got the two mounts actually i would prefer if there was a third Third mount at the top but there's only the two which is fine um yeah and then just coming on to that that there is the lasagne power cage i think it's called a really super tough aluminium bottle holder by lasagne that really pinches in tight on metal bottles and stuff so that was just another good bikepacking.com tip that i i went for um inexpensive and really really robust and light so that is about it guys so with all of those bags when i run the full setup um you know if the bags are full not that the bags would be full ever probably but that that full luggage set gives me over 55 liters of luggage oh sorry no almost 55 liters of luggage volume which is insane that's a lot of luggage um to be carrying i guess but this is how i want to do it i, I want to travel probably slightly on the heavier side um you know knowing that i'm slightly on the heavier side having slightly more difficult days but making up for that by the fact that i'm not racing i'm just going to go steady um but then it makes everything else much more comfortable camping cooking i want to carry nice food or what you know i've got a decent little cook set um clothes and stuff my tent and stuff is small everything i've got is ultra light and small I've, I've not skimped on anything i just want to carry a few nice things like you know and uh, this really now i think is pretty much the final setup the jones i was just so lucky to drop on with the jones i was umming and ahhing about those for ages because they're so expensive to buy new um lucked out when they came up on ebay and just made sure i was the winner of that, that item um I will probably, I've, the saddle has been okay so far, I've got no real gripes with it, so I'll probably carry on with that one until it's got a good bit of wear on it. It's a bomb track saddle that came with the bike, but obviously I want to go for a leather brook saddle um, in the not too distant future, just because of the, the longevity, the comfort, how cool they look. Um, yeah, so that's one definite upgrade for the not too distant future. And then the other upgrade that will definitely happen at some point is going to be the brakes because these are the SRAM levels, the base level brakes. I mean, they're good brakes. The stopping power is absolutely fine. No problem at all whatsoever with that. Um, but what I don't like about it is it doesn't give you 
um, the you can't use the matchmaker type clamp setup the, the base level break so they don't come with like the option for using a matchmaker on there which i would like just to just to get rid of that kind of extra bit of clutter that doesn't need to be there plus it'd be nice to have a slightly better set of brakes on there perhaps a four pot set of brakes because of the fact that me and the bike are going to be a heavy heavy old beast to stop okay i think that's it that is what my bike looked like so i hope this is good for you guys to actually see a little bit of stuff happening towards bike packing I, I know there's not been i've been doing a lot of cooking stuff getting ready for for the recipes that i want to cook when i go out there um but in terms of actual bike packing i seem to have been talking about it for a long time and in actual fact i've been talking about it probably for six or seven years maybe a bit longer um but certainly on the channel i've been talking about it for a couple of years um yeah i hope that this shows you that i'm really serious about it and that that gives you some sort of reassurance that you'll start seeing some some cool bike packing content in the very near future my first trip should be towards the end of june let me just flip you around so yeah my first bike packing trip should be around about the, the end of june maybe the start of july um, and that's when the lockdown the situation in spain becomes such that i can go out on my bike um, and stay out overnight at the moment you the time limits have gone for what when you can go out so you, you know after you used to have to, in the last phase you had to go out between like 8 and 10 in the morning and, and 8 and 10 at night or something it was it wasn't that but something similar to that um now you can go out at any time during the day but it has to be between like eight o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock at night so basically you still got to return to your house unless you're in one of your own second homes so Perhaps I could see this as a second home, but I don't think I'll get away with it. So yeah, as soon as the lockdown rules have, have been completely lifted um, at the end of June is when it's proposed to happen, I'll be getting out on the bike for bike packing and you'll be getting some nice bike packing videos. So that's it. That's you up to date on my bike and luggage situation. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. My next video will be another cooking video um, until I can get out on the bike. As soon as I can, I will will get all of my bike packing gear that's going in the bags laid out on the floor probably out here and show you exactly what i've gone for in terms of camping in terms of clothing in terms of all of that great stuff that is also an incredibly important part of the bike packing adventure okay guys thanks a lot for watching on your bikes